Hello everyone, hope you are learning well. So in this video, we'll discuss the first problem of lead code weekly 55. Uh, it's an easy problem. Uh, more exactly what the problem is asking you to do. You just have to implement it, right? Nothing fancy, but let's see what it says. It, the problem name is split strings by a separator. So given an array of string words and a character separator, split each string in words by the separator, right? Return an array of strings containing the new strings formed after splits, excluding empty strings, right? Note, separator is used to determine where the split should occur, but it is not included as part of the resulting strings. A split may result in more than two strings and the resulting strings must maintain the same order as they were initially given, right? Right, a, a relatively large problem statement. Let's see what it says. So you, you are given some words, right? Some words, array of words. For each word, what you have to do is you have to split this word into multiple words. If possible, how do you split it? There is a separator even. So based on the separator, just split them. So like for this one, this is one split. This is second split. So what are the words you are getting? One, two, three. Then again, it's four, five. The separator is this. Split it. You get four, five. Then this is six. No separator present in the string. This is the original string, right? So this is the answer that you have returned. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? Let's see other problem. This is a separator, right? So let's see. You split here. You split here. The first word. Now, this is something you get empty string, empty string. I do not have to include the empty string. So easy is one of the words in my answer array. Then again, problem. Split it. This is empty. This is empty. Don't include empty. Just include problem here. Right? So that's the answer. Here, what happens? This is the separator. So actually, your string contains only the separators. So you separate here, here, here. All the strings that you get is empty and hence your answer is empty, right? Uh, these are the constraints, low constraints, whatever algorithm you want to run, you can just run time complexity will not matter here, right? Uh, so yeah, let's see how we implement this solution. It's an easy one. Um, this is the result array that I have. Now I start traversing word by word and I take a string builder because I'll append each character every time, right? I've, I've tried to make things simple, right? Uh, now I convert the word into character array. I check what's the current character. Now if the current character is equals to separator, right? So what I do, if the characters that I've seen till now is more than one, uh, sorry, more than zero, that means yes, this can be a valid string. So if its length is greater than zero, convert it into a string and add it to your answer and reset your string. Why? Because these are some characters separator, some characters separator. So till this point, I have seen these characters. So this will form one answer. Now reset. Now I start from here. So that's what I'm doing. SB dot set length equals to zero. Else, obviously, if the current character is not equal to separator, you implement, you up, try to append it. You basically keep on appending it into your string builder, the current character, simple stuff. Right now, finally, there is a possibility where you did not see any separator. So this is the last check for every word that you have to do that. If the length that you have for your string builder is greater than zero, just add it to your answer. Like, for example, in the first one, we, we saw that there was a string six, right? This was the separator. Now in your string builder, you'll first append S, then I, then X, right? So you have not seen any separator. So at last, when you come out, basically you have to add it in your answer, right? So you just check the length is greater than zero. Yes, add it to your answer, right? And finally return the answer, right? So whatever is the uh, whatever is being asked in the problem, you just have to code it. Now again, the implementation can vary from per person to person, language to language, but overall this is how we approach these type of problems, right? Um, you can use the split function as well, okay? In Java or maybe in other languages. Um, I have just used the brute force approach uh, because this also works here. And yeah, I hope uh, the code is clean and all. Uh, let me know if something is bothering you related to the solution or you have any other approaches in your mind. You can mention the solution in the comment section. I'll revert on each one of them. Also, if you find this video useful, please like it. Please do subscribe to the channel if you find the content useful. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.